G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and if you're new here, as always, a cracking g'day to you too and thank you all for joining us for today's course playthrough. So today we are stepping um, away from the Rookie Design Contest course purely because we have this course, Bandera Canyons Golf Club and this one is designed by Joe Nor. Now Joe did reach out to me and said, crack, I've got another course out mate, would you mind going for a swing on it and letting us know what you think and well, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to check out this course for Joe. Anyway, let's get into the settings. What do we got? Uh, the winds are default. The fairways are firm. The greens are firm. The green speed is fast. The time of day is dawn. And the weather is clear. Hallelujah. And we will be playing from the tips, measuring 7,512 yards on pin set one. All right, that's enough of the business. So let's get out there, go have a fly around his course, and go and see how we score. All right, again, thanks everyone for joining us. Thank you. All right, let's go ahead and rip up the old crack cam and go for a bit of a fly around. All right, man, we are going up. Let's fly up and away. All right, what are we looking at? Let's just bring the camera around now. Do we have a bit of a clubhouse behind us? Hopefully we do. Now, there are four sets of tees on this nice looking course. Uh, yeah, we got a bit of a clubhouse. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, look at this, for a clubhouse area. Oh, very nice, almost like there's a resort here too. Let's go and have a fly. We'll just sort of pan down and around this way of the course. But yeah, very nice looking little clubhouse area down here. Well, this is probably the resort, sorry. You've got the swimming pools and everything like that. Nice little fire pit out the back as well. That's cool. Uh, nice little practice green. Let's sort of wander our way down around here. Nice big car park. Now this looks like the clubhouse. But, oh, what do we got here? Like a little pro shop or something like that? Maybe if you forget your clubs, you could always um, hire a set. Yeah, very nice. All right, nice looking little clubhouse there. What do we got over the back here? Ooh, got ourselves a driving range down here. Is this part of the course, this one? No, this looks like a little this might be like a little practice area as well. That is cool. But if we swing the camera around this way, got a pretty cool looking driving range. That's cool. I like all the um, undulations and the um, elevation changes on that driving range. Pity we can't go for a swing on it though. That is a damn pity. Anyway, let's rip the camera back up. Let's swing it around this way and go and have a fly around Joe's course. So where was the first hole? Uh, there's the bridge for it. So let's go and have a wander. Very, very cool looking. But first thing I do notice, man. First thing, I'd be sinking some of these bushes down. I'd be getting rid of the sort of ugly little stemmy trunk parts of these bushes. Just yeah, just sink them all down. I think I think it'll look a little bit, it's a little bit cleaner. But that's just that's just me. That's just my opinion. Oh. This first hole looks like a bit of a doozy here, actually. Wow. All right, let's just go for a wander. Let's get, keep on cruising, see what we can see. Rip the camera up a little bit high for you all. Yeah, there's the first hole. Now, where's this, where's the go off to the second one? Oh, there was a sign just down below us. I think we wander up this way. Oh, yeah, here's a set of tees. Sorry for the um, erratic camera movements. Oh, wow, this looks like a, maybe a nice little par three. Playing up this way. Kind of looks like a Aussie themed course. I always reckon this theme looks um, quite Aussie. Yeah, very nice. All right, let's um, go out this way. Oh, nice bridge work. Do like this, just um, over the gap, over that sort of waste area. Very nice looking. Oh wow! Oh, this. Oh, oh, we've got a dog leg hole here. Oh, this this course looks like it might be a little bit of a challenge, but we will we'll see. We'll see. There's the entrance to the course, right there. Oh, but not hit the bird. Oh, what do we go down through this way? We got some nice fence work. Again, the plan the plan is nice, man. I just I really think you just just need to sink those some of these bushes down a little bit more. That's all. Only some of them. 
Again, that is just my opinion. Oh, this looks nice. This looks very nice. Coming across here. I do like the, the work and the detail that he has put into it. Very nice looking course. All right, what else can we see from up here? All right, let's just cut straight down through this way. Yeah, it looks like it could be a bit of a wild course, actually. Very nice. Oh, what? Okay, that's that's the first hole because the green grid's on it. We'll keep wandering around this way. Oh, this looks dangerous. Looks like a very nice teat, any but oh, down playing down here. Okay, we may be laying up, maybe. Oh, I don't know if we. I don't know what the distance is on this. I don't know if we can smash it right across the gap here and get up somewhere on the green, or depending on which way the wind's going, I guess. A nice little bit of water here. Oh, what's this? Like a this could be like a halfway house. Nice dunny block <laughs> in the shade too. Love it. All right, he's got some very nice um, very nice work on this course. That's a different looking green. Is that green go all the way around that corner there? It does too behind the planting. Interesting. Oh. They push you out of the way for you. Yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of hazards. Definitely a lot of a lot of bunk hazards, and well, you got the, all the all the stuff off to the side of the course. Hopefully, you don't rip, start ripping some mad fasts or slows into this one. Yeah, I, I quite like the look of this. Do not mind it at all. Oh, let's just go. Let's just zoom down here a little bit quicker. Around the corner. Oh, the fairway gets tight there. Hopefully we're hitting right over that. Yeah, but I really like the bridge work. I, lo I like the whole, um, the look of the course, actually. I just I just think some of those bushes, just some of them, just need to be shrunken down just a little. There it is there. That looks pretty damn nice. Well, I think we've pretty well seen enough. Actually, we'll just... Quickly cruise on down this way. That's a different shape green. Got a couple angles to come into that one as well. We'll just cruise on down through here because we missed this nice little area down through here. Got this nice big bridge where you come into the course. All right, anyway, let's just rip the camera back up and go back over to the first hole and let's start swinging and well, hopefully it's a good day. All right, let's go. Okay, here we go. Hole one, par four, 435 yards. We have a massive 59 feet down. And, oh, this fairway doesn't look kind. This does not look kind at all. We got seven mile winds coming at us too. Can I somehow hit a slope here and get a kick round maybe? Maybe to the right here? Now let's play for a perfect... Hopefully that wind brings us around a little bit. Oh, slight little fast. Ooh, this could be. Oh no, we're on the fairway. Actually thought we were gonna go into that bunker. That wind held me up nicely. Alright, 165, 33 down. Again, seven miles coming at us. Coming with the eight. It's 33 down, but. Wind's not going to play that much. I think I might take the 8 into this. Maybe even just a little bit of low loft. Oh, that wind's swinging around. It's coming straight at us. Now's the time to go. Oh, that should... Get on, get on, get on. Oh, okay, we're chipping. We're chipping, damn it. Just short. Hoping it was just going to get on the roll. Alright, little lob wedge chip. Okay, being downhill, we need to add some backspin. We need to slow this thing down. Slight little break to it. Oh, and that was slow, so that's going to the left. On my other left, which is actually right. My like, god damn it. I hate it when you do that. 
All right, let's call that one a par and move on. Nice little warm-up hole. I think this course might be a bit of a challenge today. This could be quite challenging. Okay, hole two. What do we got? Par three. Nil, nice little hole in one chance. I think we shall bring that in with a three iron looking at this. Allow for that wind. Even come out a little bit more to the left there. That wind is bringing it around. That's going straight for the pin at the moment. And a little hot. Alright, we're chipping once again. Oh, what are we, oh hang on, we're in the... No, that's, got, that's a sand wedge, definitely. Full sand wedge. Looking at the lie in that rough. I even fall short this. Oh no, we're in! Hell yes! There we go. First birdie of the day on hole two. Let's keep going. It's going to try and give me a replay, but no, we're going to skip it. Just another day on the course, chipping it in the hole. Okay, hole three, par four. Nice view off this tee. I like that bridge. Mm-hmm, I do. All right, four more wins. Ooh, fairway gets a little tight. A little bit of a fast. Hopefully that cancels out the wind and we do find the fairway. And not some sort of bunker. Oh, yes we do. Just down that left-hand edge. Okay, 181, 32 down. Oh, we got some, a nice little break here. And we got a bigger one over here, but I think I'm going to try and play for this one. Six mile wins against us. Well, if we aim about there, the downhill run, I'm kind of hoping that this wind is going to bring it around to the break. I want to try and hit this, that red section there and sort of bring it around, back around towards the hole. That's my plan. That's what I'm sort of going for at the moment. So we'll see what happens. Okay, the wind's bringing it around. Hopefully it's not too long. There, oh, there it is. We nailed this. And there's the flag. Hell yeah. Loving it. That's how you play it. Alright, hopefully a nice little tap-in birdie here. Oh, a foot or so further back, and I probably would have missed that if I had stayed on that line. I like playing for breaks. I'm, I'm really enjoying I've been playing a few courses. I've got nice breaks on the greens like that, and, it, and it, it's so rewarding when you can hit it. Um, all right. Oh, this fairway's got a nasty little kick. Hopefully it kicks me down the rest of the way. If we put it about there, get some sort of perfect into it. Or Slight fast. Oh, I don't know. Going with that wind. Oh, Jesus. Oh, get out, get out, get out. Oh, no. It's left the short. Bugger. We might have been able to reach that green. Uh, three iron. Da, 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 da. Yeah, we'll play the three. There's nothing to be gained by going to any higher club out of that. All right, leaves us with a nice little gap wedge pitch coming in. 80 yards. Oh, that might not be too bad because the wind is going to a slight little breeze, giving us a little bit of a push here. I mean, it's 15 up. I might actually stay with this gap wedge pitch here. Hopefully we can just get up that slow... I mean that slope at the bottom of the screen. Oh, you know what? I go a pitching wedge.
Tell you what, I'm glad I did go to the pitching wedge. Now Gatwedge would have fell a little short there, but wish I had to put some backspin on that one now. Didn't really notice it was sloping back off the green here. You know, nice little lob wedge pitch, uh, chip, sorry. Hopefully we can put this one in the hole. Riding, we hit a nice little perfect. Gonna pull that back just a smidgen. Oh, shit, too fast. Too hard and fast. Alright, we'll head up those stairs and make our way onto the fifth. Alright, what have we got? Par four, 446 yards. Again, that's got, the fairway's got some slope on it. A little fast, hopefully it doesn't kick us off the fairway. This slope. Oh no, I think we hit the sweet spot there. If you play high and right, they yeah, definitely get a nice little kick down. All right, one twenty-four. Oh, that's that's the gap wedge. Well, three more breeze too. Oh, I thought that was going to be slow. It was close. Being a slow. You see, some of those bushes, like that brown bush, right near the base of that tree, I think that just needs to be sunken down just that little bit, man. Perfect, then. All those types of shrubs. The other stuff's good. But hell, he's designed a lot more courses than I have. <laughs> I was actually um actually had a random stream during the week, and at the end I actually showed my course for the first time, or without just putting up a picture here or there. Yeah, that was over, that was over on Twitch, and that's gonna go. Yes, it is. Yeah, we actually played three courses that night. It was yeah, really nice. Yeah, yeah thanks for everyone that um. Join in too. All right, hole six. Uh, what have we got? Par four, three hundred and nineteen yards. Ooh, oh, hang on. Got a hybrid. Where's my? D oh yeah, come on, come on. Six mile winds going with us. We just need to rip some sort of perfect or something. Haven't been swinging the best lately. Oh, crushed it. That is coming in hot though. But hell, we're over there. And we will be chipping, maybe even pitching for an eagle here. Gap wedge chip. Okay, that is uphill. I'm taking a nine iron. I'm gonna take I'm gonna rock the nine iron chip into this. A little bit of backspin on it. It's uphill though. Quite a little break. Pitching wedge isn't gonna roll up that get up all the way up that hill, but a nine. Could come very close. Oh, the distance was absolutely perfect too. It just crept up that break just that little bit quick. But hell, nice little bird though. Um, okay, hole seven, par five. What oh, do we got here? Five forty, fifteen up. Five miles going with us. We need a perfect on this one because this is nasty. Looks good. It's challenging, which I'm really enjoying. Okay, let's put it there. Oh, a bit of a slow. Oh, which way is it going to kick? Oh, I was afraid of that. I was afraid of that kick and that's... Oh, it's going to hold the fairway. Okay. Oh, wow. Six iron. No, five, no, no, no. Iron, oh, driver, yes, please. 
We go for it. We're going to send it up as far as we possibly can. Probably it's going to be a bad decision, but we're going. Oh, this is going to kick. Look at this. Just going to ride around. Oh, light rough. I'm happy with that. The green's just in front. A little lob edge pitch. Let's play that. 90, 90. 90 to 95%. I'm going to overhit this. I can see it. I want to hope and I don't. I just need to roll up that little bit. Come on, come on. That's it. That's it. Right next to the hole. Thank you. And that'll be another nice little bird for the day. I've been watching a few tips videos lately. I don't watch them for the tips. Well, I've got my own way of playing. Yeah, I, like I said, I've been watching a few tips and tricks videos. Ah, oh, there, see that bush there? Just sink it down, man. All right, that's the last time I'm going to say sink bushes down. All right. But yeah, I, I can't help but think just, just play the game more. Play the game more. You, you'll figure out your own way of playing. Well, hell, just watch my videos. The whole 18 holes is like a tips video. And you get, you know, I'll show you how not to lay up. I'll show you how to fuck up a shot. <laughs> oh, probably just like this one. Anyway, let's carry on. Uh, 180 yards. What have we got? 29 feet down. So again, we're taking the clubs back for the elevation. We're taking also some... Some out because of that wind. We got six miles. It's going to push us. I'm no, I'm no mathematician. I don't want to sit here and make, make maths. I just uh, rough, rough guess, rough estimate. Five miles. Yeah, it looks like a seven. Could be even an eight, but I'm going to play a seven. It's going to come in a little hot, I think. I think this is going to. It's going to roll a bit. Put some high loft on it, eh? You can number crunch everything as much as you want. Then you got to get that perfect swing. That's the hard part. That that's a hard pin to come into. That is a very hard pin. Being so close to that bank, like you hit that thing, that's going to give you a nasty kick onto the green. Okay, thirty feet anyway. Three inches up. Judging these brakes and getting used to the speeds, hardest thing you'll do. Um, the brakes and it goes straight. Got to visualise the brake. It might not be too bad here. Right now, bingo, there it is. All right, let's keep going. Oh, the old 2K21 replay. That was, that actually, we'll watch this one because that wasn't a bad putt. It's a matter of judging that break, but you got to realize it straightens out at the end though. But it is still going to slightly curve that little bit more before it straightens out. Anyway, hole nine, par four. Uh, what about 424 yards, 20 feet down? Yep, yep. We're sending it. That's right. We certainly are. Nasty bit of a fast. Ah, oh, shit. My swinging today has been terrible. I played, well... Yeah, you know, the time that I'm recording this, I played my rounds today. And my god, my third round on Kinetic absolutely destroyed me. Fourth round? <laughs> it was so much better. So much better. I couldn't believe it. I think I was like 15 under, 10 under, 7 under. And then I'm pretty sure I was over like 10 under again by the fourth round. I, oh, I couldn't believe it. the third round just absolutely killed me. Yeah, but anyway, enough of that. Let's get back to this course. Uh, 145. 
plane from the bunker. 85, 93. Half tempted to take a bit of an 8 into this. Oh, shivers. Didn't that kick? See, there's a lot to be learned by my videos. Always look at the light at your feet before you swing. That's one that I should have done. <laughs> uh, all right, anyway, let's keep going. In one of those moves tonight. We got a lob wedge pitch. Oh, I don't like the feel of this. And that's short. I just, I didn't want to hit it over. Did not want to hit it over. Nasty little bit of a putt here for par. But we managed to scrape in. Oh, I made a mess of that hole. Anyway, I'm going to get my head back in the game. Concentrate on what I'm doing. Okay, hole 10, par 4, uh, 450 yards, 32 feet down. Oh, we got the wind going with us. I want to try and stay high on this one. Got to calm that swing down a little bit. Oh, stay up, stay up. Nice ball. Okay, check the lie. The wind. 11 down. Nasty little runoff at the behind that pin there. I'm just going to play a straight up lob wedge into this. I mean, sorry, pitching wedge. That pitching wedge got that wind. The lie. The wind is going to absolutely grab this pitching wedge. That shot was on the money. And we are in. Oh, not too bad, actually. Seven under. I didn't think I'd be scoring like this today. All right, hole 11, par four. Uh, what have we got? 305, 10 up. Oh, tight little fairway. Got the hybrid in the hand. Oh, we can drive this. Yeah. Right there, what the hell? Oh, look at that nasty hill. That that shade kind of hides that, doesn't it? Kind of hides that a bit, especially when you're looking at it from about there. That's like seven miles. We want to get this break. Don't like my chances. Not with my driver at the moment. Oh, see, we got to slow. This can going to cancel out that win. That's going to hit this fairway and absolutely boot it right. We're going to ride that like a berm. That was... Uh, that's, that's... That was bad. I really wanted to hit that break too. Hoping to get up there. A little wobbledge pitch. But that's golf though, eh? Just take the bit out of that. Not a bad recovery from down there. Still managed to um, secure a birdie, which is good. Consistency, consistency is the key. Doesn't matter where you put it on the course, as long as you're consistent with putting it in the hole. That's my theory. All right, got the hybrid in the hand. Hell yeah, 240, six down. Nice little par three for this hole 12. Eight mile wins. This might not be too bad, actually. Let 
Let's just get up that little bit of a hill there, and I'll be happy on that about that one. One little bead breaking. Is it just the one, or is there many in there? Well, that was interesting. The closer we got to the hole there. Even though there was no break at all, so I don't know why it turned the way it did. Frustrating when it does that. It's very, very frustrating, especially when you're playing your rounds. Everyone knows that. Those little ghost breaks, phantom breaks, whatever you like to call them. Um, okay, um, where are we going on this one? Are we playing across that gap? Oh, yes we are, we got three miles going with us. Oh, can I? I don't have the big driver, I don't know about this. Three miles going with us. Oh, I'm going for it. I'm gonna go for it. Shit, what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, I was hoping for like 102%. <gasps> oh, my. oh, we made it. Get up, get up. Oh my god. I'm so lucky I made that shot then. That would have been like, what were you thinking, mate? That had a had a fallen short. Alright, 210, coming in with a three iron. We have a little bit of it's 19 feet down. Down that nasty front edge of that green. I think I'm gonna have to come in with a three. Will the four oh actually look at our lie. This four might just get up and boogie, you know. Might just get up there for us. Not with that. Oh, crap. With a perfect, that would have been nice. Bob with splash. Take the sandwich. This. Oh, oh. Look at the lie. Even though you can't see the grid, you can still see our feet are above the ball here. That is going to kick right. Woo! Made it! What do we get? Oh, we got a birdie! Hell yes! Takes us to 9 under after 13. Alright, hole 14. Par 4. Uh, what have we got? 436 yards, 5 down. Oh, this. Just don't look right. Don't look right. Don't look right. Don't look right. Don't look at it. I looked at it. Oh, nice kick. Thank you needs to hold the fair oh that's on that's fairway okay 130 pitching wedge normal 18 up yeah we're taking it yep yeah, not even gonna add anything to it stock standard pitching wedge Could have used a little bit of a nudge. Just a little bit of low loft. Give it that little bit more put more of a push.
Oh, yes, baby. Thank you. All right, let's bring it home. Four holes remaining. Okay, hole 15, nice little par three, and that is a nice looking little par three. Very nice. Can we use this break? Hmm, doing a six iron, that's a bit drastic. Seven. Okay, we're gonna bring him in seven. Um. No, I'm gonna bring it in with an eight. I should be going to seven, but I'm looking at that wind. Put some low loft on it. Got the perfect. It's going around towards the break. I'm gonna kick off of it. I'm happy with that. Damn happy. Worked out nicely. A little bit of low loft, just give it that, give that eight, that little bit more to get there. Go on, hit the ball, buddy. <gasps> what the? F okay, that was me. That was me. That was my swing line. <laughs> yep, I hooked it. All right, moving on. Bugger, too. Stuff that was such an easy little putt. Alright, hole 16, uh, par 4. What do we got? 386 yards. Nice little dog leg here. Wow. Alright. There's going to be no cut in this corner, is there? No, nah, he's definitely built that beautifully, so you can't. Oh, uh, no. Nah. No. Nah. Let's just play up here. Six iron, I mean, six mile wins. That actually might kick left here. Turn and roll down the fairway. Oh, and I think it's even found a flat spot. Yeah, somewhat. All right, five miles coming at us. Looking at that lie, I think I'm still gonna play the nine. Light little slow bugger. Looking for a perfect on that one. A blitz chip, no, that's a sandwich chip. We're going to need it all too. We're going to need all of this. I reckon. There it is. There it is. My rule for a chip is like two and a half squares away. There was not. There wasn't much of an uphill on that one. So if it's like a flat, about two and a half away, two and a half squares, and then if it's if you're playing uphill, well, just just lessen that distance. So it might be might be a square and a two squares or square and a half, depending on your uphill slope. All right, two uh, four twenty six. All right, let's just send it. Oh, slide a little fast. It's going to cancel that wind. Cancel the angle that it would have taken the ball anyway. Alright, what have we got? 139 remaining, 14 up. Got another bit of a break here. That's quite steep though. If you land on that on the full, that's just going to be like. Shoot you straight off down there. Uh, seven mile winds coming into this one. 14 up. Alright, I'm going to play here because this is probably going to end up a little short.
See what happens if we hit this break. There's a nice little kick. Straight part, is it though? Don't hook it. Oh, I did slightly, but not enough to interfere with that straight part. All right, 12 under at the moment. Absolutely smashing it. All right, 18th hole, and it is a big par five to bring us home. And a nice par five at that. that is very nice at that angle, the angled bridge there. That plane's still flying around. Um, okay, 100, sorry, 583 yards, 26 up. Let's send this one. I was hoping for a nice perfect on the last tee of the day. This has been a very enjoyable course. Now, if you do watch this all the way to the end, I still recommend you go and hit it. Please, go and hit it. You'll have a lot of fun. And well, if you're not here, well, it doesn't matter because you won't hear that. <laughs> All right, hybrid, uh, what do we got? 270, 39 up. We go the driver, which is going to send us straight into that bunker. We do have four miles going with us. Yeah, there's no way I'm getting up there. I'm going to just send it straight up here with the driver. Practically aiming at the bunker now. Yep, that would have been fair in the middle of that bunker. It's alright, this may seem a bit drastic. We got a nice little break here. It's worked out perfectly. <laughs> Another little lob wedge pitch, which I hate. Absolutely hate the lob wedge pitch. Oh, I forgot my backspin. Got the backspin on that one. I think this is going to be a bit of a nasty putt, this. Oh, yeah. That's not looking easy. Slight little uphill. Pushing. Oh, right to left pretty quick. Great speed to 170. I just looked at that, so I've only just now looked at the green speed. Ah, oh, it's going to break away. Bugger. Oh, well, we'll finish that on a par. Hopefully, haven't got it in yet. There we go. Well, that was, that was a very enjoyable course. I really enjoyed that, and if you stuck with me this long, I hope you've enjoyed it too. And hopefully, you maybe you know you might have learned something, taken away something from that playthrough. Not driver's not always best off the deck, trust me. But I don't have a three wood anyway. That's just the way I play. Um, okay, so yeah, there it is, um, Bandera Canyons Golf Club, and again, that was designed by Joe Nor. So there you go, Joe. There's a playthrough for you, man. Hope you enjoyed it. Just sink a few of those bushes. Sorry, that was last time. It's last time I'm saying it. And yeah, man, absolutely beautiful course. So really, really enjoyed it. So again, thanks all for joining us. And if you're still here, well, you know, keep your balls out of the rough, and I'll catch you again soon. Later.